Welcome to the third portion of this tutorial. Now, there are different ways of doing things in Excel, just like any other software or any kind of program language. Uh, there are advanced users, intermediate users, and beginners. So I'm going to show you how to kind of use some of these commands uh, with your intuition to solve this mobility matrix. But uh, if you are an advanced user, this will not be as useful as uh, you might find a better way of doing things than the one I'm showing here. So this will be my mobility matrix. I already put in some labels there. and. I can actually, uh, can, let's see, make these a little better, give them a little border so they look nicer. Where is the border? Oh, there it is under home. Come here and give it all borders. All right. Anyways, that's the, not the most important thing ever. Uh, but the function that is going to be very useful for us today is the sort function. So I will take, highlight all of this. And I want to sort it, sort the data by countries, ratios that was the least in the beginning. It's going to help me here. So the sort function is up here in the data. I'll go there, I'll say sort, and then I have my tick mark here, which says the first line was the head list of uh, names of the variables. If you click here, now the names appear, and I want them to be arranged by the ratio of 1980, smallest to largest. It could be other things as well and then say OK. So notice now it has lined them all up by the ratios, which is great. Why is this great? Because now when I try to figure out how many countries should fall here, how many countries should fall there, it's going to be very simple. So which are the countries that fell within 0 to 1 in the first period? Well, that's these countries, right? So these are the countries that fell in 0 and 1. And out of those, which ones fell between uh, 0 and 1 later? So it's these specific countries. So let me do a control C or command C and then paste it here. But that did not work. Why didn't it work? Because it did some kind of cell referencing. Put some kind of formula. That's not good. So control Z to get out of there. Again, let me take control C here. So just copying them. But let's learn about the special paste. So go to edit and say well first choose a cell, go to edit and Oh, well, it's early morning. All right, go to edit, say pay special. And instead of saying all, say I want just to paste the values. Okay, so I don't want the formula or whatnot. So if I did that, here are the values. And let me also sort these from smallest. And there's no head, header list or anything on this one. Smallest to largest. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Four of the countries fell between zero and one. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them fell between one and two. And one only fell in the higher one, higher bracket. So I actually know the no number of countries. This is not the percentage yet. And then I could use the sum function equals S. And then, let's see, it's falling outside. Do it equals s, and so you should have sum somewhere. Yeah, there you go, sum of these numbers. It'll all make sense in a second as to why I'm taking the sum. So let me again control C this, paste this here, edit. I keep doing that. All right, go to edit and pay special and just say values. And let me kind of get rid of these things. All right. So let's give it some nice look. All right. So now I can set up a formula equals 100 multiplied by this number divided by that. But then I'm going to put a dollar reference on it. Done. So that's 40%. And I can pull it. I get the rest. So you could use the same kind of idea to go and fill up the other ones. All right, I hope this is useful. If you have any questions, please drop by during my office hours or shoot me an email. It's much easier if you come see me in person or perhaps you can Skype. All right, thanks. Uh,